And the way he got to know me was to pretend he needed to borrow my notes. And I say pretend because he's the better physics student. <laughs> When I think of my wedding day, it was really a magical day because here we were, young people. He was a graduate student then, um, very much in love, but on that one day, we became a family. And I think that's what the magic and the power of marriage is about, this, this ability to transform lives and to transform people. I grew up in Washington State, uh, just south of Seattle, north of Renton. My fondest memories were the views of Mount Rainier when it wasn't raining, uh, the airplanes at the Boeing Field down in Renton near the high school that I went to. Washington State, in my memory, is a supportive place where people live and let live, and it's a great place to raise a family. Marriage is a powerful, beautiful thing, and society recognizes this, and so society gives married couples status and deference and respect. Now, there was a time when interracial couples like us couldn't get married, and now the question is whether same-sex couples should be given the same rights. In my grandparents' generation, an interracial couple like us could not get married. Um, that was wrong then, it is wrong now. There should be some real soul-searching regarding the denial of people equal protection under the law. I have a brother and a sister, and they're both in relationships with women. And what's fantastic when I look at these families is that both women are great. The depth of love is the same in both families. The commitment to relationship is the same in both families. Both families deserve the option to be married. And I see the home and the life that they've built together and the way they treat each other that's no different than between Ray and myself. I think it's just wrong that they're not allowed to get married and have all the respect and the privileges and status of being the feeling of being one person and being able to stand in front of my family and the rest of the community to say that we are responsible people now. It was just, it was magical. It's a privilege and I just cannot see denying this experience to my LGBT friends and family. And that's why we need you to approve Referendum 74.